Welcome to the Surfcast, Mobile Surf's Canadian tech-focused podcast. I'm Patrick O'Rourke, and Brad Bennett, a man who is holding a MacBook over his head on camera, I think. He's yeah. the bad boy of tech. That's what he calls himself. I don't know if it's accurate, but I he's across the internet from me. today. <laughs> yeah, shill. An Apple shill. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Didn't mean to come across so Apple-like. I was like, oh, we're talking about Apple stuff today. I'm going to just hold this over my head right in the intro. And I was, as soon as I did, I was like, that's not going to come across great on camera. <laughs> Just get one of those, like, uh, you know, when you buy an iPhone and there's like an Apple sticker in it, just like stick it on your forehead the entire yeah. the entire podcast. I always think about going back. I mean, I think you saw that joke up on Twitter, like almost like a year ago of that fake AirPlay tattoo on my neck. And I <laughs> always think about doing that for real. There's that. Um, oh, man, I should not bring this up because I can't remember his name. The character on Euphoria, who's also an artist, has I don't like, know. the I Apple don't know. logo seen it. tattooed oh, on his Dominic face. Mike. Yeah, Dominic Fike. And anyways, yeah. I had to bring that up as uh, the ultimate Apple shill move, which I don't think that he is. is. I think he just did it. I think his brother's name is Apple or something. It's like related to oh, that, is I believe. It? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But it is like the Apple logo. It's, you know, I'm pretty sure that's the blank out of it. It's there. But that that's it. That's that that's all that we're doing on the podcast today. It's Brad. Celebrity and me. tattoos. Yeah, we're talking about celebrity tattoos. That's the whole episode. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a third person on the podcast because the team's really busy. Um, so we're going to have a more a more intimate conversation about two topics in tech, which means that we're also going to skip the hottest news of the week this week. We're going to try a bit of a different format. Let us know what you think of it. Um, we're going to try to just like straight up jump right into the topics worth discussing. And the first thing that we're going to go over is the fact that Chrome OS is sort of coming to Mac it totally is 100% is 100% is, is is here. Well, no, it's not. 99% it's here. Um, so what it, what does that mean? Like what is like when you told me this is something you wanted to talk about, I was straight up mad confused. Like it didn't oh. make sense to me. Period. Um I think it's just exciting. I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it cuz I think like Chrome OS doesn't get enough like light shed on it online. It's like a very legitimate operating system. I know that's like not exactly as good as or not nearly as good as Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever. But I think it's a totally viable operating system for like 80% of the world's population at home, at least. Maybe not at work, but like everyone in my family member who doesn't really use a computer for work just has a Chromebook and it's fine, you know? So I thought it was an interesting thing to talk about for like that reason. But it's interesting from a tech perspective because it means this old 2016 MacBook Pro can now be a Chromebook and that actually makes it like the best Chromebook ever. It's like the world's best Chromebook potentially because it's like a legitimate processor and good RAM and in a aluminum shell with like cooling and a good keyboard and trackpad. It's kind of sick. Although I will admit that the beta I have running off of this SD card is a little janky. So I had to use a Mac or not a Mac, a mouse and a keyboard plugged into this. I couldn't use the like built in laptop keyboard when I was running it. Uh, which was really annoying, but I'm hoping once it gets out of beta, that uh, that'll be better. I haven't run it on a Windows machine yet either, or like a Windows laptop to see if it would support those built-in um, keyboards and trackpads, but I think it would. I'm assuming there's better support on the Windows side. So taking a step back, this is basically Chrome OS now being capable of running on a Mac or a Windows PC, like any any Mac or Windows Face. Yeah, so PC it's been available laptop. for a while through this service called Cloud Ready, I believe. Um, okay, I think it was owned by like Neverware, but maybe I'm just like making that up. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. But Cloud Ready made this service that allowed you to like bootleg get Chrome OS on old laptops, and it was um, angled a lot for education because it's a way to like you know kids just need Chromebooks to browse the web and do research and things and and write Word documents. So getting these older Windows computers just onto Chrome makes them feel faster. And that's a way to like save millions of computers from landfills, potentially. We're all hoping that that's happening. I don't know if it's actually happening, but that's like the biggest thing that's to a cool idea from this. It's just like saving so, old computers from landfills by turning them into Chromebooks. In theory, could I turn my 12-inch MacBook from like 2015 or 24? I, I guess it's from 2015, actually. Um, yeah. Could I turn that into a Chromebook? Potentially, there might be some hardware issues. So there's a list of like compatible devices so far, and it's mostly Windows computers. And even a lot of the Apple ones were called like Apple Pro something, like not even like you know. And there was like Apple Pro 13 or okay. like Apple Mac this, and like the names were kind of weird. So it wasn't I wasn't exactly sure like what was supported and what wasn't supported um, yet. Like this is still in beta, I guess. So potentially by the time it rolls out for real to everyone, um, I think they 
what's the word I'm looking for? The compatibility list will be more accurate. Although knowing Google, that could be a little hit and miss, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be more like ironed out by that point. Um, but yeah, in theory, that means that that old, Mac, that old MacBook that you probably can't run anymore because it's not getting updated to Mac OS and it just feels really slow. There's a big chance that you could put Chrome OS on it and it would feel a lot faster. I will say that when I did have this like hooked up, it was feeling very smooth. Like it was janky because I was using like a plugged in keyboard on top of the old laptop keyboard and whatnot, but it felt fine. It looked scaled well-ish. Is the OS running off the SD card or is it like installed directly on the hard drive? Like how does, well, I guess what I'm really asking is like, what does the installation process look like? Is it something like my mom could do or is it like mad complicated? It's not mad complicated. I don't know if I'd bring it all the way down to mom level, although I think your mom is like fairly tech savvy. So I think your mom specifically could pull this off, but <laughs> she I don't know if everybody's did. mom could. She so knows more about was... Android than me at this point. Yeah, it was really simple. Basically, you just need like, I think an eight gigabyte SD card or not an SD card, a memory drive or an SD card. I mean, I use an SD card plugged into a little reader here. You can't really see that, but that's what this is just because all my memory cards are like two gigs for some reason. But anyway. Yeah, me too. Um, but that's just because I'm demoing it. If you wanted to turn this into real, you could get this to boot from Chrome OS on the hard drive. Okay. Time. So if you want it to be like a more permanent situation, you could just install it directly on the hard drive. It's good exactly. Yeah. Which I'm thinking I might do. I don't know. I'm thinking about like seeing if I can find like a really cheap laptop on Kijiji or something to just do like a video about like how old a laptop can I bring back to life with this. That's a just cool idea. Because of honestly to settle my own curiosity if I can find a laptop for like less than a hundred bucks. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty cool. And then I'm trying to think about oh the other thing I want to the last thing I guess is there are some caveats. Okay, um, caveat. So me. yeah, you can't get into the Chrome Web Store. Or no, you can get into Chrome Web Store. You can run Chrome apps, but you can't run Android apps. Um, so that's like kind of a half caveat because most modern Chromebooks can run Android apps. Uh, probably going back about like three or four years, I would I would guess. You think that seems like an accurate guess? When did yeah, I would say, yeah. It's been a while. Um, so there are still some Chromebooks that can't, so it kind of puts it in that camp. And there are a few other things, I believe, on like the IT side where you would have to like incorporate this a little differently if you were like running a school-based IT thing. Um, and I had a, all my windows up. Let me just do one quick check for the last thing I wanted. I still really like Chrome OS in general. I, like, I wish I had a more reliable Chrome OS laptop avail available to me. I had, um, what was the last one that came out? The, the Pixelbook Go. I, I think I reviewed it for the site. I gave it a pretty positive review. Um, yeah, that's but I gave it to my mom. My mom uses it. My mom uses yeah, it all the time. Alex is using it right now. She returned her MacBook Pro today. Um, oh, did she? Yeah, we had talked about this separately. Just to catch everyone up. My girlfriend bought a MacBook Pro similar to me. It just wasn't really running good. She had a MacBook Air M1 before the new MacBook Pro, and she found that one was better. So she returned it and is going to hopefully get another one in like three weeks or a month. Who knows how long it takes to ship them now? But yeah, so she's back. Yeah, on you, guys have had a lot of, you guys have had a lot of issues with the new Pro. Yeah, I've seen some other like talks about it online too. With people just saying like it's been a weird year for Apple like reliability, but I don't know if that's just like me cherry picking those things because it, it happened to me. But weird tech stuff is happening to me all year. I mean, we've got this Samsung phone here for An that reason. Anecdotally, yeah, well, we should talk about that after the Apple stuff. Anecdotally, you are the only person that I've seen have issues with it, but I also haven't actively like sought out someone having like some kind of throttling problem or thermal issue with the new pro. Like I just haven't seen any headlines on any of the big tech sites or some of the smaller blogs. Um, but yeah. I'm sure there's yeah. reports out there. The, these things don't just happen to one person. Yeah. All of our stuff is weird too. Like it's not things that like completely handicap the computers. It was just like, they just, you see so much promise about it. And like, I, I can say for sure that this new one that I have is way faster than the one I had before. Like I just, I couldn't even run 4k footage for a timeline before, but it's like, yeah, you showed me. It's hard to even tell if those issues were software or hardware. Like it's just you, it's laptops and Apple. It's very confusing. But yeah, either way, um, if they break again, potentially we can run Chrome OS on them to just bring that full circle. <laughs> Imagine running like a, a 2021 Mac Pro and you just run run Chrome OS on it straight up. It's a Chrome OS box with a with an M1 chip and everything. That's what I should do for the video. Maybe that's more entertaining than buying like a hundred dollar laptop. Could you do that though? Does it work on the M1? I, my guess is that like it wouldn't. Put that in my ideas list. I, I my guess is that there's no way that it no, would. I it would be cool. Probably doesn't. But yeah, but like 
you have to go into like the BIOS, like the boot menu, and like choose to boot from Chrome OS. So it is a little bit more complicated than just like plug and play. Yeah, but to get into the BIOS and the boot menus are a bit different on M series computers too, right? Like to reset yeah, and like hold things. So you right, you, uh, you hold down the different. Apple, hold down the Apple button. I think the Apple button, the the on switch, on the off switch. Button. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, does M one work with Chrome OS Flex? My guess is it doesn't, but who yeah. knows. Okay, no, for sure, any other to test. What's up guys? It's Brad from the editing desk. And if you're wondering why this episode sort of ended a bit abruptly, it's because we decided to break this one up into two parts on YouTube this week. So one half is for Chrome OS, one half is for Apple Leaks. Both are up on our channel now, so if you want to check out the other half, it's here. And uh consider subscribing if you like our content. And let us know actually if you want it to be this way or the other way. We're we're still trying to work things out.